There's a new study that talks about low-income students having less access to high-quality curriculum, having less access to textbooks. And that that, and that that phenomenon, that truth, simply, completely contributes to the achievement gap. We have got to start orienting to this gap as a provision gap, because that is what it is. When we write our own stuff, we don't know how to write standards-aligned curriculum. A good teacher does not a good curriculum writer make. And nor do we have the time. Right, it's time consuming. We just did an interesting study ourselves with, with a couple of sets of uh, focus groups of teachers. And one of the most fascinating things that came out about it is that no matter who they are, no matter where they come from, whether they're super effective, moderately effective, when teachers are working on lesson plans and curriculum, they are focused on today. Right? Or if it's Sunday, they're to focus on tomorrow. Right? Like, that's it. That's the focus. And curriculum must be comprehensive, coherent, across within years and across years. And then in the meantime, just day by day, the, the tasks we're writing, look at this, 44% of them are aligned with the standards. 13% even ask kids to cite evidence from text. 6% ask kids to write two paragraphs. It's insane. We don't know how to do it. We don't know how to do it. And in our experience with Engage and other friends of ours who are working on high quality curriculum, it takes like a year or a year and a half to calibrate a writer to do this. It took us that. Like we came out, you know, we were decent teachers, boy do I have regrets, but like I know a lot about instruction. It took us, a, it took me personally a year to be allowed by the standards writers to even write a lesson or review a lesson, right? These things are hard and complicated and you have tons of good choices now. Illustrative Mathematics, I do have to give a shout out to, to Illustrative Mathematics. They had a new review by Ed Report. Ed Reports this week, where they have the highest score ever in Ed Reports. All right, so it's high quality stuff and it's free. So just charge one. Could you just, could you just do this? It, it's a technical fix. It's a technical fix. Just fix it. Like, I don't want to talk about it, just fix it. Because then we can start talking about how hard it is to do it, right? Then we can start talking about, we've got a roadmap we can lean into. Now we're talking about implementation. Now we're talking about adult learning. Now we're talking about how do we get this done right for our students. So charge two is attend to the language of the standards. What do I mean by that? We're gonna look at the language of a standard and we're gonna look at some student work. That sounds sexy, doesn't it? 40% <laughs> of third graders met, this is 2017, met or exceeded the standards in part. 40% of third graders in the great nation of America can do this. Describe the relationship between a series of historical events, scientific ideas or concepts, or steps and technical procedures in a text using language that pertains to time, sequence, and cause effect. 40% of the kids in the country can do that, given a text. It's jarring to think about. We've unaccepted, and, and the, that 40% is not our kids, right? We're talking about black students in Baltimore where the number is 12%. We're talking about Latino students in Providence where the numbers are 15%. We're talking about economically disadvantaged students in DC where the number is 24%. These are unconscionable numbers. These are, this is a study from 2011 that really does, it still stands. There's absolutely no reason to believe it's not still true. And when I ask people about it, they're like, oh yeah, that's true. The kids who can't read in third are the kids who can't read in ninth. Same kids. If you track a cohort of kids, the ones who aren't reading in third, they can't read in ninth. And the reason for that is because when they arrive in third, what the third grade standard demands of them, it can get information from the page. Right? This standard is saying, can you read something, know more about the world, and, and either write it down or talk about it. 
And what we know is that if they arrive in third unable to do that, they're screwed. And they're, more, and, and, they're, and they're in more trouble if they're black or Latino. They're in more trouble if they're living in poverty.